Our next honoree, Richard Gannum, married to Betty for 60 years, has been a leader in many different circles. After serving in the U.S. Army in World War II, he returned to Cleveland with his two brothers, John and Lori, and resumed the operation of Gannon Brothers, a gas station, tire, body shop, and towing company. Richard is also the founder of the Ohio Towing Association. Richard proceeded to serve his community of Seven Hills as a two-term councilman, finance director, and a two-term mayor while concurrently serving as president of St. Mary's Holy Name Society and treasurer of St. Mary's Church Council. Richard also founded Cameo, along with Minor George, in 1970. Gives me great pleasure to introduce Richard Gannon. like to introduce Bill Vichelaney, who has a proclamation to present Mr. Gannon from the City of Seven Hills. In, in an effort to really speed this up, I, I was very fortunate to be um, a, a nephew, if you will, um, our parents and my aunt was married to Uncle Dick's uh, brother, and I've always been intertwined with the Gannon family. Well, then I turned around and followed him into the politics in Seven Hills in 1995, and I've been involved for 15 years. And to this day, you mentioned Dick Gannon's name, and believe me when I tell you, there is nothing but admiration. I have never heard a bad word about Dick Gannon. I've only heard wonderful things of how many tremendous things he did for the city, and I'm telling you from my heart, the people still love you in Seven Hills. So, I truly present this to you for everything, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening. I want to take a, just a minute to tell you that it's a great feeling to be here tonight. There's nothing better than to see a crowd of good Arab Americans of Middle East descent to be together, to know that we are something better than most. And we certainly are. But it's more important to know that this organization starts, founded in, in 1970 in my kitchen, with my wife serving, actually serving watermelon in a big, big dish, and five, six people sitting around, Phil A. Boyd, God rest his soul. He's Eli Naffa, God rest his soul. These are people that were there along with Bill Amin, Thank God he's still around. And, and uh, it, it's, it's just a great feeling to know that these people came to my home on the basis that I wanted to do something. Ed Farage came and we sat around and we talked. And, it, and the, at that time in 1970, after all the things that happened in the 69s with all the terrorist groups and and the, uh, all, all the protests going on, the Arab American was something that was going to be put in jail because they were afraid we were going to go, I, I guess they thought we were going to go out and kill everybody. And it, it, it just hit me that we should do something about this. And I took it on myself at first to just call various community, various areas, such as the FBI and the rest of them, and, and demanded 
that they quit calling us Arabs, that we are Arabs, we are Arab Americans, we are the mid of Middle East descent. I went on a radio show with a man that was ridiculing us up and down. And because of that, I, w I called him and said, now I want to get onto your program because since you call us Arabs, I want to get up there and tell you that the Italians are now Dagos and the Irish are wimps and the Germans are no good. He said, you can't do that. I said, neither can you. You cannot single us out. And he stopped. So with that in mind, I felt very, very firm about starting something that represents our people. And that's how Cameo began. In, in a kitchen in Seven Hills, where I lived, and with the people that were there that evening. It was a great feeling. It was a great feeling to know that other people thought the way I did. And then that's how Cameo started. In 1981, our first 10th anniversary uh, gathering, as you have here tonight, uh, was done and, and Dr. Curry was <laughs> elected by acclamation to be our vice president. And I never regret, it was such a pleasure to know this gentleman, to know him as, as an Arab American, to know him as a doctor, <coughs> and to know him the, the sincerity he had and the care he cared about our people. And doctor, I've never forgotten that. I want you to know that. Along with that, <laughs> along with that, I've had the pleasure of, of, of being a very dear friend and brother to Minor George. Minor and I were probably the mavericks, if you will, of, of, of the political fields when we met with other politicians and there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think of Minor George because I've always said I have eight brothers <coughs> and myself and I added one more now I have I had nine brothers and myself because Minor certainly was my brother and, and Al says we are gifted to have you here this evening and I thank you for that also. And in close, I, I want to thank Pierre Bougeni. Pierre Bougeni, a man that has worked so hard to put this together. And he did it, believe me, night and day. Yeah. And, and but when I tell you that he took away from his own to do this, Pierre, all I can say to you is thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you, Pierre. And of course, there's my family, my wife Betty of 60 years mm -hmm. in a couple, three months. <laughs> my children, most of them are here. The one in Florida cannot be here, but all are, they're all sitting at the table over there. Where are they? Oh, there they are. And my nephews, they're also here. And then, of course, there's my grandchildren, and they're here. And then there's the, then there's the queen of the Gannon family, even though her last name is George. Our dog, George, my sister. And my older brother, Larry, where's Larry? He's over there somewhere. And I certainly cannot forget my favorite daughter-in-law. She's here, Diane over there. So all of these 17, we have 17 grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. And I can't understand why my, why my eight-month-old great-grandchild isn't here. 